should read and discover level three, sound and music by Richard Northcott. Introduction. Listen to the sounds around you. What can you hear? Can you hear cars? Can you hear people's voices? Maybe you can hear a television or music on the radio. Look at these pictures. What are these sounds? Do you like these sounds? Which sounds are music? What type of music do you like? Discover. Now, read and discover more about sound and music. Introduction. Listen to the sounds around you. What can you hear? Can you hear cars? Can you hear people's voices? Maybe you can hear a television or music on the radio. Look at these pictures. What are these sounds? Do you like these sounds? Which sounds are music? What type of music do you like? Discover. Now read and discover more about sound and music. Chapter one: How sound moves. When you speak, sing, or shout, the sound of your voice moves through the air. The sound goes to other people, and they hear it. Sound moves very fast. Discover. Sound moves through air at about three hundred and fifty meters per second. The sound of a bus moves faster than the bus. How does sound move through the air? The air is made of billions of molecules. The molecules are very small, so you can't see them. Your voice pushes the molecules. The molecules move like waves in the ocean. The movements of the molecules are called sound waves. The sound waves from loud sounds go far. The sound waves from quiet sounds don't go far. Chapter one. How sound moves. When you speak, sing, or shout, the sound of your voice moves through the air. The sound goes to other people, and they hear it. Sound moves very fast. Discover. Sound moves through air at about three hundred and fifty meters per second. The sound of a bus moves faster than the bus. How does sound move through the air? The air is made of billions of molecules. The molecules are very small, so you can't see them. Your voice pushes the molecules. The molecules move like waves in the ocean. The movements of the molecules are called sound waves. The sound waves from loud sounds go far. The sound waves from quiet sounds. Don't go far. Chapter two. Low sounds, high sounds. Some sounds are low, and some sounds are high. We can hear low sounds and high sounds 
everywhere. A plane makes a low sound, but when birds sing, they make a high sound. Think about the strings of a guitar. The thin strings make a high sound, and the thick strings make a low sound. The thin guitar strings vibrate fast. You can't see them move. The thick strings vibrate slowly. These different types of vibration are called frequency. The sound of the thin strings has a high frequency. The sound of the thick strings has a low frequency. A baby's cry makes a high sound, and it has a high frequency. A truck makes a low sound, and it has a low frequency. A baby's cry is made of lots of thin sound waves. The sound waves from a truck are thicker. Chapter Two. Low sounds, high sounds. Some sounds are low, and some sounds are high. We can hear low sounds and high sounds everywhere. A plane makes a low sound, but when birds sing, they make a high sound. Think about the strings of a guitar. The thin strings make a high sound, and the thick strings make a low sound. The thin guitar strings vibrate fast. You can't see them move. The thick strings vibrate slowly. These different types of vibration. Are called frequency. The sound of the thin strings has a high frequency. The sound of the thick strings has a low frequency. A baby's cry makes a high sound, and it has a high frequency. A truck makes a low sound, and it has a low frequency. A baby's cry is made of lots of thin sound waves. The sound waves from a truck are thicker. Chapter three. Your voice. Everyone's voice is different. A man's voice is usually lower than a woman's voice. Put your hand. On the front of your throat, and say something. When you speak, your throat vibrates. In your throat, you have vocal cords. When you speak, air from your lungs goes between your vocal cords, and your vocal cords vibrate. When you sing, you use your mouth. Your throat, and your chest. You make your vocal cords shorter or longer, so that you can sing high notes or low notes. Singers can learn how to use their body, so that they can sing better. Some singers have teachers who help them. Discover. Some people in Siberia can sing two notes at the same time. They are called throat singers. Chapter three. Your voice. Everyone's voice is different. A man's voice is usually lower than a woman's voice. 
Put your hand on the front of your throat and say something. When you speak, your throat vibrates. In your throat, you have vocal cords. When you speak, air from your lungs goes between your vocal cords, and your vocal cords vibrate. When you sing, you use your mouth, your throat, and your chest. You make your vocal cord shorter or longer, so that you can sing high notes or low notes. Singers can learn how to use their body, so that they can sing better. Some singers have teachers who help them. Discover. Some people in Siberia can sing two notes at the same time. They are called throat singers. Chapter Four: Musical Instruments. Let's look at different musical instruments. Some are called wind instruments. Players use air from their lungs when they play a wind instrument. Trumpet players press the trumpet on their lips, and they blow air into the trumpet. Their lips vibrate, then the air in the trumpet vibrates, and makes a sound. When a drummer hits a drum. The air in the drum vibrates and makes a sound. Other instruments, like cymbals or xylophones, make a sound when the player hits them. These instruments are called percussion instruments. Guitars, violins, and cellos are stringed instruments. Guitar players. Pluck the strings of a guitar, but violin and cello players use a bow. They touch the strings with the bow, and the strings vibrate. Chapter Four: Musical Instruments. Let's look at different musical instruments. Some are called wind instruments. Players use air from their lungs when they play a wind instrument. Trumpet players press the trumpet on their lips, and they blow air into the trumpet. Their lips vibrate. Then the air in the trumpet vibrates and makes a sound. When a drummer hits a drum, the air in the drum vibrates and makes a sound. Other instruments like cymbals or xylophones make a sound when the player hits them. These instruments are called percussion instruments. Guitars, violins, and cellos are stringed instruments. Guitar players pluck the strings of a guitar, but violin and cello players use a bow. They touch the strings with the bow, and the strings vibrate. Chapter Five: Music Around the World. Around the world, you can find. Thousands of different musical instruments. In Bali, in Indonesia, there are orchestras called gamelans. In a gamelan, there are lots of different percussion instruments. The players in a gamelan usually sit on the floor. The bandonian. Is a type of wind instrument. 
It's like a box with air inside. You squeeze it, and it makes a sound. In Argentina, you can listen to bandoneon players in the streets. The kota is a stringed instrument from Japan. It has thirteen strings. Kota players pluck the strings with their thumb and two fingers. The players move the small white bridges to make different notes. The sitar is a stringed instrument from India. It isn't easy to play. It has lots of strings. Some sitars have twenty-three strings. Chapter Five: Music Around the World. Around the world, you can find thousands of different musical instruments. In Bali, in Indonesia. There are orchestras called gamelans. In a gamelan, there are lots of different percussion instruments. The players in a gamelan usually sit on the floor. The bandoneon is a type of wind instrument. It's like a box with air inside. You squeeze it, and it makes a sound. In Argentina, you can listen to bandoneon players in the streets. The kota is a stringed instrument from Japan. It has thirteen strings. Kota players pluck the strings with their thumb and two fingers. The players move the small white bridges to make different notes. The sitar is a stringed instrument from India. It isn't easy to play. It has lots of strings. Some sitars have twenty-three strings. Chapter six: Orchestras and Concerts. The musicians in an orchestra listen to their instrument. And to all the other instruments at the same time. The musicians watch their conductor too. Musicians in an orchestra always practice before a concert. When they practice, the conductor sometimes tells them to play slower or more loudly. Conductors move their hands and arms to help the orchestra. Not all rooms are good for concerts. In a room with flat walls, the sound of the music can bounce off the walls and make an echo. In concert halls, the walls. Are not flat. They are usually made of different panels. The sound bounces in different ways, so there's no echo. Discover. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was one of the greatest musicians. He was from Salzburg, now in Austria. He played in concerts when he was only six years old. Chapter six: Orchestras and concerts. The musicians in an orchestra listen to their instrument and to all the other instruments at the same time. The musicians watch their conductor too. 
Musicians in an orchestra always practice before a concert. When they practice, the conductor sometimes tells them to play slower or more loudly. Conductors move their hands and arms to help the orchestra. Not all rooms are good for concerts. In a room with flat walls, the sound of the music can bounce off the walls and make an echo. In concert halls, the walls are not flat. They are usually made of different panels. The sound bounces in different ways, so there's no echo. Discover! Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was one of the greatest musicians. He was from Salzburg, now in Austria. He played in concerts when he was only six years old. Chapter 7 Rhythm When you listen to music, you sometimes want to tap your foot. When you listen to music with a strong rhythm, you want to dance. What is rhythm? Sing your favorite song and tap your foot, too. The sound of your foot is the rhythm of the song. The rhythm of a rock band is strong. When you listen, you want to move or dance. All music has rhythm, but there are different types of rhythm. The rhythm of a marching band is always the same, like the sound of marching. In flamenco music from Spain, the rhythm gets faster and slower. Flamenco dancing is sometimes slow and sometimes fast. It's very exciting. Chapter 7 Rhythm When you listen to music, you sometimes want to tap your foot. When you listen to music with a strong rhythm, you want to dance. What is rhythm? Sing your favorite song and tap your foot, too. The sound of your foot is the rhythm of the song. The rhythm of a rock band is strong. When you listen, you want to move or dance. All music has rhythm, but there are different types of rhythm. The rhythm of a marching band is always the same, like the sound of marching. In flamenco music from Spain, the rhythm gets faster and slower. Flamenco dancing is sometimes slow and sometimes fast. It's very exciting. Chapter 8 Recording Music Today, there is music everywhere. People listen to music at home or in their car. With an MP3 player, they can listen to their favorite songs when they are on a train or walking in the streets. Where does a song come from? First, a songwriter writes a song, and musicians play it. They practice, then they play the song in a recording studio in front of a microphone. In the studio, a sound engineer uses recording equipment 
and records the song. Now, the song is a lot of digital signals. The sound engineer uses a computer and works with the signals. This makes the sound of the song better. Discover. The first sound recordings were about one hundred and thirty years ago. The first microphones were like big trumpets. Chapter eight. Recording music. Today, there's music everywhere. People listen to music at home, or in their car. With an MP3 player, they can listen to their favorite songs when they are on a train, or walking in the streets. Where does a song come from? First, a songwriter writes a song, and musicians play it. They practice. Then they play the song in a recording studio, in front of a microphone. In the studio, a sound engineer uses recording equipment, and records the song. Now the song is a lot of digital signals. The sound engineer uses a computer, and works with the signals. This makes the sound of the song better. Discover. The first sound recordings were about a hundred and thirty years ago. The first microphones were like big trumpets. Chapter nine. Buying music. Today. People can buy music on the internet. The music comes to their computer or phone. The music is made of thousands of digital signals. These signals stay on the computer or phone, and people can listen to the music when they want. People can also move the music from their computer to their MP3 player. In the past, it wasn't so easy to buy music. About one hundred years ago, people started to buy records. They played them on record players. Later. There were big jukeboxes in cafes. In a jukebox, there were about fifty records. People put coins in the jukebox, and it played their favorite song. About forty years ago, there were cassettes. They were good. Because people played them in their cars. Then, about thirty years ago, there were compact discs, or CDs. Chapter nine. Buying music. Today, people can buy music on the internet. The music comes to their computer or phone. The music is made of thousands of digital signals. These signals stay on the computer or phone, and people can listen to the music when they want. People can also move the music from their computer to their MP3 player. In the past, it wasn't so easy to buy music. About a hundred years ago, people started to buy records. They played them on record players. Later, 
there were big jukeboxes in cafes. In a jukebox, there were about 50 records. People put coins in the jukebox and it played their favorite song. About 40 years ago, there were cassettes. They were good because people played them in their cars. Then about 30 years ago, there were compact discs or CDs. Chapter 10 Sound and Noise We measure sound in decibels. The sound of a quiet wind is 10 decibels. When people speak, their voices are about 50 decibels. A jackhammer is about 100 decibels. Sounds of more than 120 decibels can be bad for your ears. A very loud sound or a bad sound is usually called a noise. Discover! Some animals can hear better than people. Your cat can hear more sounds than you. Don't listen to very loud music with earphones. It can hurt your ears. Other loud noises can be good, like the sound of a car. Chapter 10 Sound and Noise We measure sound in decibels. The sound of a quiet wind is 10 decibels. When people speak, their voices are about 50 decibels. A jackhammer is about 100 decibels. Sounds of more than 120 decibels can be bad for your ears. A very loud sound or a bad sound is usually called a noise. Discover! Some animals can hear better than people. Your cat can hear more sounds than you. Don't listen to very loud music with earphones. It can hurt your ears. Other loud noises can be good, like the sound of a car. It tells you a car is coming. Don't cross the street now. Always listen carefully before you cross the street. Listen to music. Listen to people's voices. Listen to the wind. Use your ears and listen to all the sounds around you.